Now, we have several dimensions of songs, but um, I'm going to be looking at um, just four. Number one, or we can say characteristics of songs. Songs can be uh, affirmative, and it can be for affirmations. For instance, when we talk about affirmation, it has to do with you um, confirming the word of the Lord in your life. For instance, out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Here, here, here. That's a kind of affirmation. Though it has a prophetic dimension, but it's a kind of affirmation because um, because that thing you are saying it has been written in the word of the Lord concerning you. So by singing it out in form of songs, you are affirming it. Are you getting what I'm saying? So songs can be for affirmation. But when you do it for affirmation, you are singing out the things that God, you know, that the Bible has said concerning you. You are making into songs those things that the word of the Lord has spoken concerning his children. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, another another one is song can be prophetic. Now, when you are singing in a prophetic dimension, what you are doing is you are singing what your the lyrics of your song is towards what God is about to do. For instance, it is going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. That's a prophetic song. I am going to be blessed today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. It's prophetic because you are singing what you expect at the end of the, of the meeting. Are you getting what I'm saying? Songs can also be uh, for prayers. Yes, songs can be for prayers. In that case, you are saying what you desire from the Lord. You are, you are singing what you want the Lord to do for you. Are you there? You are praying, but you are doing it in form of melody. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, um, all right. For instance, when you say, Jesus, I will not stop until I receive grace from you. Now, that song you are singing is a prayer song. You are saying, Lord, I will not stop until I receive grace from you. Those are prayer points. Are you there? I will not stop. I will not rest until I receive grace from you. That's a kind of prayer. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, songs can be done, you know, for prayer purpose. And there are a lot of songs that actually talks about them, prayers. Then songs can be for praises. In that case, you are singing because of what God has done. There is something specific that God has done. And then you you want to respond to it. Are you there? So you are now responding to those things through your worship, through your song. Sorry, are you getting what I'm saying? So song can be for praises. But anytime you are doing that, you are doing it with respect to something that you are seeing God do in your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then the last part of it is songs can be for worship. When you are singing to worship the Lord, you are not actually doing it. Anyway, worship is a lifestyle. Your life should actually worship God too. But when you want to do it in form of songs, at that point when you are singing to worship God, you are not attributing what you are saying to anything that you have seen him do. Or you are attributing it to who he is. Are you there? For instance, you can say, You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are not asking for anything. Are you there? You are just worshiping. Now, out of all these characteristics that I've listed, out of all these dimensions that I've listed, the best is worship. We must learn to honor God for who He is, not because of what we want to get, not because of His promises, not because of anything, not because of what He has done. Are you get what I'm saying? 
Meanwhile, all these dimensions can be reflected in a chant. There are chants that when you do them, it steals, it, it steals up prayer. There are chants that when you do them, it is... Um, it is um, uh, there are chants that when you do them, it is a worship unto God. But most people now, most chants they do is just to steal up prayers. No. Let's also chant to worship the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let's chant to worship the Lord. What we are expected to do more is worship. You see, all these song dimensions have a certain, uh, they have a certain atmosphere they create around you. But the one that creates the strongest atmosphere is worship. Are you getting what I'm saying? Is worship. For instance, there's this new chant that we, that the Lord just gave us. Oh, glory. So in that song, all we're just doing is to worship the Lord. You hear things like, Akeyi, Akeyi, O Lore, O Shubafu, O Shubafu, O Lore. Are you there? That's a worship song. Are you getting it? That's a worship song. You, When you are doing worship, you know, that's a worship chant. It's actually a chant. Are you there? So, when you are doing worship, you are not concerned about what he has done or what he has not done. You are just acknowledging his beauty. You are giving him the honor due to him. Are you getting it? 